What's going on, girl? Matesh here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your OG Pixel as your backup machine so that whatever phone you're currently on goes ahead and automatically transfers the pictures over to the Pixel so they can back up to Google Photos without accounting against your storage cap. So this is going to be very simple. We're going to be using a simple application called Sync Things, which will let you sync folders across um, devices using Wi-Fi. This will make it so that you don't have to use like a third-party service like Google Photos or Google Drive to upload first to and then download to and then upload again. Instead, it'll just transfer wirelessly using uh, Wi-Fi Direct between the two phones. So really easy to set up and um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So let's get to it. Alright, so I have sync things set up on both of these phones except on this one, the one phone that I'm going to back up on, I haven't done it yet, so we're going to go ahead and walk you through it on this phone. So first thing you'll see is just an introduction screen on this phone, so we're just going to continue past that. Uh, next is they're asking you for permission to storage, which makes sense because you want to synchronize a folder to the other uh, phone, so allow access for that. And then in the next screen, they're going to ask you for location permissions. And what this is for is to get Wi-Fi SSID, the name of your Wi-Fi, so that if so you can have the most secure backups by only backing up on certain Wi-Fi's. I would consider this option a little bit more. Uh, I would consider this just a little bit more optional than the first one. The first one eh, you have to give. This one, it's up to you if you want to grant this permission or not. Um, otherwise, you can just skip it and just hit finish and then your phone will be ready. And then if you notice uh, on here under folders, the camera is already added to the synchronization. So they know that most people want to use this to synchronize their camera folder to something like their computer. But in this case, we're going to be using it to synchronize with the Pixel over here. So um, now on the Pixel phone, what we'll need to do is, uh, all right. So now that we've got sync things set up on both of these phones, what we're going to do is going to go ahead and first of all get these devices to know each other. So I'm going to first start off with the uh, TCL 10L that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and click on. Uh, let's go back actually. Instead of folders, oops. We're going to click on the devices tab. We're going to hit that plus button on the top right, and then over here on the um, the Pixel, we're going to go open up the side menu. Going to go to show device ID. And here it'll pop up this QR code, which we can scan using our camera. Bam. And now this phone knows this phone. So I'm just going to cobble this the backup pixel. Hit the little uh, confirmation there. And then on the pixel phone, I should get a notification here saying that this phone wants access. There we go. You can see Sing Things device T770B, which is the code name of this phone, wants to connect. So I'm going to hit yes. I would like this phone to connect and done. So that's the part is done. Now what you can do next is to go open up that camera folder on the uh, original phone. Uh, and you can see now under um, here you have this option backup pixel. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and this will start sharing the uh, folder with the Pixel phone. But additionally, I also want to go ahead and uh, you can see the folder type is send only, which is the right thing. I don't want to receive any data from the Pixel phone. I just want to send it from here. And then watch for changes. So if you want to make sure that your battery stays good, you can go ahead and turn that off. But if you want to make sure that you have sync perfectly, then you can leave that on. But I want to save battery, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that uh, off. And then on the other phone, once you turn on the uh, backup pixel, you'll get this uh, pop out notification saying, hey, they want to share the camera folder. Do you want to accept or do you want to ignore it? Um, I'm going to go ahead and accept that. So we'll accept it. And then you can decide what directory you want to back this up into. So I can create a new folder and just say that one is specifically for the TCL 10, oops, 10L. So I know what phone that files are coming for. We can allow access. And that's done. And now we can also change a folder type for instead of being send and receive. Folder path must not be empty. I just added this folder, did I not? Allow. Cannot be used. Please select a folder located. Okay, interesting. Don't know why that's it. Let's just give it access to downloads folder. I know that's available. There we go. We're going to change the send and receive type to, no, sorry, receive only. And then we'll leave this on watch for changes for on this phone because this phone I've had mainly plugged in. So now it's going to go ahead and synchronize with this phone. You can see it's scanning. It sees that 76 files need to be added, 597 megabytes of data. And then these two will start syncing with each other. And then all I have to do is just go into Google Photos and tell it, hey, download folder, I want you to back up everything that comes in the download folder. And that's it. That's pretty much all it takes 
to turn your phone into a backup device. Now, this will hit your battery a little bit, so that's something to watch out for, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward and you just can leave this phone plugged in, running, again, plugging it in and just leaving it like that could be bad for the battery, so maybe you might wanna take out the battery if you can, although this phone, you really can't. So just plug it in every once in a while, make sure it's charged up, so whenever you take photos or anything with your real regular phone, you come home, it'll go ahead and back everything up using this phone. It's pretty straightforward. I've been using this for a while now and it's worked really really well so yeah that's pretty much it for this video this is how you can get unlimited original quality storage using your og pixel as a backup device so yeah that's pretty much it for the video like if you liked it subscribe guys loved it and i will catch you guys in the next one bye